In other news, the issue of rising inflation will not leave as any time soon. I think as the Institute of Economic Affairs, IE, is urging government to take overall responsibility for the current crisis. It therefore wants a, a pragmatic approach to tackle the challenge. Director of Research, Dr. John Kwache, has been speaking at a roundtable discussion on the, th on the topic, Rethinking Inflation Management in Ghana. There is more in the following report. Proposing a new approach to address the rise in inflation, which hits 27.6 in May 2022, the economic think tank said the government should consider eliminating or reducing numerous fuel taxes and levies, among other measures such as adequate food, to reduce the high demand. Director of Research Dr. John Kwache said the government must adopt a realistic strategy to help bring down the rate of inflation. The nature of Ghana's inflation requires concerted efforts by Bank of Ghana and government. Um, Bank of Ghana retains the primary responsibility and, and autonomy for controlling inflation. In fact, even in major countries such as US and UK, governments have made inflation control a top policy priority and are taking measures to complement their central bank's actions. The same approach is needed here. We don't have to be working in silos that are maybe government is here and Bank of Ghana is here. <laughs> no, no, that will not work. They should be working together. Now, government, I think, should take overall responsibility for the inflation crisis because they, are, they have been the, they, they are the elected managers of the economy. Nobody should push it on Bank of Ghana. Government should take you know, responsibility for it and direct Bank of Ghana to carry out its mandate. Dr. Kwache also shared lights on the major drivers of inflation so far. The figures show, also show Ghanaians experience different rates of inflation hmm? and different degrees of economic hardship depending on what goods and services you predominantly consume. Okay, so when the, uh, the Saskia services inflation is 27.6%, all of us are not experiencing that inflation. Some are experiencing 80%, some are experiencing 10, 15%. Okay depending on what you consume most. Again, let me say that we are not in any way suggesting that we have all the answers to managing inflation. We just want to promote a, a public discourse. Ghana has history of high inflation compared to peers in Africa and elsewhere. In the 1980s and 1990s, Inflation was in high double digits. Over the last 20 years, however, inflation declined significantly along with improvement in general macroeconomic performance. Empirical literature identifies fiscal policy, food and exchange rate as key drivers of Ghana's inflation. That's your business update. Time now for sports, handing it over to Brace.